Good morning. My name is Shayla, and I'm with Making Lemonade from Lemons. <clears throat> and I figured that with this first video that I would show you a little bit about where I live and um, tell you a little bit about who I am. Um, so, one of the reasons that I named this channel Making Lemonades from Lemons is because um, I have some obstacles that prevent me from, or that try to prevent me from doing some of the things that I really love to do. And um, so I just have to find ways to make it work um, for me. I love to garden and I love my family. Um, I have a family of five, so it's me, myself, my husband, and my three boys. And then we have a wonderful dog. Um, and so I'm going to show you a little bit about, I don't, I'm not going to, um, I'm, I'm not going to try to make everything look perfect. I'm going to show you the messes that I have. Um, oh, I mean, look, it's one of my children's toys in the, <laughs> his scooter. He loves the scooter. Um, wow. Those beans have gotten really huge. Um, I have two different types of beans here, actually. Um, they're, these are the runner, the pole beans, green beans, and then these are, um, cow peas. They've gotten huge and I'm going to have to put something up. I need to thin out the, I need to thin out the, especially the pole beans. Oops. I just broke that one. Um, thin out the pole beans. The cow peas, they say, they can grow together real close. Um, but this is one of the things that I meant by um, that I have to find things that will work um, to help me to be able to do the things that I love. Um, as you can probably tell, um, I have lots of trees on our lot and it's we're in the we're inside the city limits um so without i mean we have been taking down some trees as you could see stumps um and that is gonna help um with some issues of not not having plenty of sun um but that's one of the reasons that we didn't do permanent beds as well as this is the very first year that I'm growing anything, um, especially growing it from seeds. Um, I help my parents. I've helped my parents with their garden <laughs> since I can remember. I was always growing up. My mom and dad, they would plant the garden and we would go help um, pull the weeds and pick the beans and stuff. So, um, But I've just never done it on the first time that I am doing it in containers as well. So it's been a huge, huge, huge learning curve. Um, I watched a lot of videos and that has helped me tremendously. Um, but doing it yourself is, is different than, um, than watching videos. So, um, here are my 
that's my cantaloupe and it's a Minnesota midget so it's a miniature sized uh, cantaloupe it's personal sized so um, I don't like cantaloupe myself personally I just don't um, but I have um, one of my boys loves it and my husband loves it so um, I'm also growing pumpkins back here and the plants are absolutely huge um, we just had a storm that went through just um, over the last couple of days and it's a possibility that it'll storm again today um, so it's I'm kind of showing you the aftermath of that um, as you see I've got some there's there are a few issues with the pumpkin. This is, um, you know, this pest. And over there's probably some powdery mildew on those leaves. Um, I haven't been able to get out here and do much of anything with them. Um, there's lots of male flowers that are popping up all over, but I don't see a whole lot of female flowers. And the female flowers that I have seen evidently have not been being pollinated. So I'm going to probably have to get out here and try to hand pollinate them. Um, my watermelon plants, oh there's the sun. Um, my watermelon plants on the other hand are doing great. Um, they are putting out little watermelons. And these also are personal size watermelons. This one is the Blacktail Mountain. And um, then this one is called Sugar Baby. And this one is my biggest one so far. It's really big. So let me show you my flower bed. This is supposed to be my pollinator bed to bring in um, bees, and it's a mess. But like I said, I'm my plans are to show you not just the good stuff and not just the easy stuff, but all of the mess too. Um, these are my nasturtiums. And this is one of my favorite ones so far. Um, it's little, but it's starting to really put out some buds. I was wondering if it was going to do anything at all. Um, I planted a lot of different wildflowers out here, but as you see, there's a lot of grass and weeds out here too. Um, but I just left it kind of growing wild because I really didn't know what looked like what so like I said my first time doing it but I've got some cosmos that are budding and blooming that one's already done I'm deadhead that one so it'll put out some more blossoms and this one too all right and then like I said, these are, there's weeds and everything here. I have a hummingbird feeder because I have hummingbirds that come. And then here's one of my nasturtiums that is blooming. And there are other wildflowers out here, like there's um, some sweet alyssum that came up um, but there these are just now starting to bloom and it's I don't know how much blooms I'm going to get because I kind of started late um, with planting these I should have done them last fall and let them overwinter but like I said it was my first year so lesson learned, I'm learning a lot in this process. 
So those are Coryopsis right there. Um, my sunflowers that I'm trying. Yeah, I don't know what's happening to them. They look like they're getting ready to bud and bloom and blossom, and yet they look awful. I, I can't see that probably. It's probably out of focus, but that one looked horrible. Um, this one is the same. I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that it's some kind of pest. I have one that is blossoming. Sorry for the noise. And then here is my mess of a garden. It's messy. Um, but um, like I said, I have some issues with with bending and um, and because of that, since I have um, back problems, I have degenerative disc disease as well as um, as well as an injury from the military. Um, I actually it, it I needed something to keep get the plants up so that I didn't have to bend as much. And so this was my um, temporary solution. Um, I know a lot of people do raised in-ground beds, but I didn't know where to put the in-ground beds. So this is all a huge experiment this year. I grew some radishes in there, but they're done. So I need to um, maybe put onions in there. I've got some onions that need to be planted. The they can be in something really shallow. It's fine. Um, there, this is one of my pepper plants, and it looks great. Um, well, actually, there's a whole bunch of pepper plants in here. Um, I planted them really close together. Um, that is also a... Um, these are my bell pepper plants. Um, it's an experiment to see how close together I can actually grow them. Those are... We're doing fabulously and they still do look great they're cubanel peppers um i just have to prop them up i have to i'm gonna have to stake them because the wind really blew them over and i'm sorry that's the noise from my air conditioning just came on um i've got herbs and stuff there going there and these are all cayenne peppers and they're starting to put out blossoms and they're looking really good um, this is one of my Better Boy, which is a hybrid. It's a, it's a F1 hybrid, so you can't save seeds in order to, um, from the tomatoes that you grow in order to plant for next year. Um, I'll just have to buy more, but they are really good tasting tomatoes. That's a mess right there that's lavender that my son decided he wanted to take on my oldest who is um 14 and i said okay you can take it on and um he didn't clip it back so <laughs> that's why it looks like it does the dead stuff is in with the live stuff so um and that was strawberries that I planted in this year from seed. And they're starting to grow. But it took them up quite a long time. Those are radishes. Um, it gets really hot here, but it's started to cool off this last week. I'm, it's going to get up into the 80s again here soon. So I'm hoping that they don't bolt. Um, this is one of my purple Russian tomatoes, and as you see, the pole is kind of leaning a little bit. Um, I tried these furring strips in these bags, and I have determined that I do not like them. Um, I need them because they're super tall, but I don't like them. Here's some onions that I have. These are 
Kelsey onions and they're supposed to get really big. Hopefully they bulb up. Um, these are poblanos and pepperoncinis. Some more herbs. I've got mint and lemon balm, oregano and basil. And there's cabbage that I don't think is going to do anything, but we'll see. Like I said, it's experiment. Banana pepper plants and those are, um, I can't even remember. These are Golden Cow Wonder, which are a yellow pepper, and that one is jalapeno. I've got some cucumber plants that are growing. My kale, the leaves just, I mean, you can tell. I need to cut them back because, um, if I cut them back, they'll start to regrow. Um, there's one of my tomato plants. Th these are, this one is one of the smaller tomato plants because I planted them at different times. Um, that cucumber plant is looking a mess. These are snapdragons that finally decided that they wanted to try to grow. And there's a um, Amish paste tomato plant that is just now starting to grow. Um, those are Anaheim pepper plants that are starting to blossom. That one is um, an Apalka. And I really like the Apalka plant. Um, I, I never tasted the Apalka tomato, but I'm, I've heard great things from them, and they're a sauce tomato, and I really want to try to make my own sauce this year. It'll be the first time I have done that. So, um, these are, as you can see, these zinnias are as tall as my pepper plants, which are a little bit more than waist height on me. And these are Tabasco pepper plants. There is another lavender plant that I purchased, and that one looks much better, it's healthier. Onions, and then look, here's my mess of tomatoes. I need to stake that. Um, I let that sucker get away from me, and it's already started blossoming, and it already set fruit, so I'm gonna have to stake it. Um, and I've got, I need to get higher stakes because this one, um, as you can tell, it's, it's falling over. Um, anyways, I have a lot of that going on. Needs to be restaked. And then look, there's a lot of crisscrossing and leaning stakes. Um, the green ones I have found that I like better than the fern strips. So even though they're more expensive... I'm probably going to go with those. The furring strips were only a little over a dollar, especially at, um, with a veteran's discount. But, and the others are over $5. But um, I think that they're going to be worth it. Um, I did plant flowers and herbs in with my tomatoes and tomatillos and stuff. I did not do that in with the peppers anyways um i will we'll do more of a garden tour again later as you see there's my mess um and this is like i said my first year i watched lots and lots and lots of videos on doing this um but it it is different actually growing it and um learning um, and doing everything in containers except for your flowers. So um, anyways, thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, if you could just um, hit the subscribe button and um, I plan on, like I said, I plan on letting you guys see a lot more of what I'm doing um, and um, I'm not going to hide the mess from you. I, I, don't think that that helps anyone. I think that it's 
I think that it actually helps for everyone to see see the messes as along with the good. So um, I plan on showing you guys what I do with what I get, um, and uh, you'll you'll probably get to meet my my children and my husband and my dog, and um, I hope that you guys enjoy it and. I will put out another video shortly.